Hey guys, Dr. Barron here with virtualheadachespecialist.com. I just want to talk briefly about brain MRIs and migraine. So a lot of patients get MRIs done for their migraine, for their headaches, and the most common thing you should expect to see on a scan for someone with migraine or chronic migraine is nothing. Uh, nothing but brain, normal brain. Um, well, most of what we see is people in years of daily continuous chronic migraine and it's extremely rare to ever see anything bad on a scan causing migraine, uh, which is great. You know, it's still something that uh, should be done uh, at some point for most people, uh, especially if there's big pattern changes and, and there's reasons why your doctor may want to do that if there's something off neurologically on exam, etc. But when you actually look at the scan, uh, the vast majority of people will have a normal scan. And the reason is because, again, migraine is an electrical event in the brain. Uh, my first video kind of details the exact steps that happen during a migraine, but it's an electrical event built into the circuitry and you're just not going to see this on a test, unfortunately, which I know is frustrating. Uh, you expect to see something obvious first, whatever's causing this miserable headache that you have, but the good news is that it should be normal uh, and most often it is. Now, some people will have um, these chronic ischemic white matter changes that comes out on the report, uh, you know, almost automatic on most MRIs. Uh, most people will have some degree of these, and uh, when people see those, they often will freak out, thinking that they have MS or brain tumors or strokes or, you know, all kinds of things. But... Honestly, these are things that we generally just kind of ignore uh, because they're really irrelevant in the bigger picture. Um, these are very common, these little white spots that you can see, and uh, the most common things that cause these are, first of all, age, um, if there's a smoking history, if there are vascular risk factors that are um, uncontrolled or have been in the past, and these are things like high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, um, Migraine itself can cause some of these spots. Uh, and then if there's head injury, concussion, sometimes that can contribute to these as well. But not something to freak out about. Um, you know, depending on the story, depending on the, the appearance and size and location and these things, uh, certainly things like MS and uh, those kind of evaluations may be discussed with your doctor. But uh, for most people, these are just kind of scattered and non-specific changes that we don't really correlate with anything significant. So don't freak out. I uh, just wanted to make sure you guys know that because we see a lot of patients that come in for that specific reason to have that concern about the white matter changes. All right, see you guys.